What's up guys, it's the Mighty Zane 500 here with another episode of Let's Play Fatal Frame 4. Uh, you may be wondering what I'm doing back down here on this uh, passage under construction. That's because I completely forgot to go down this path here and to get two things. One was a Hazuki doll, which is right in this little crate over here at the dead end. So that gives us 42. Um, and I know I, uh, I haven't been putting up the, uh, the little doll images when I, when I hit, uh, every time I got one. Uh, I just keep forgetting, and I, I have to actually remake my, uh, I have to remake my overlay for that. So, yeah, it kind of sucks out. I, it really blows when you lose all your stuff on your computer, because you have to remake everything. Um, and the other thing that we wanted to get here was, um... Let's see. Construction work. Oh no. Construction worker journal. Our work was temporarily halted. Some of the tunnels known to be beneath the island were found, and this has stopped our expansion. When this hospital was first built, the director's office was put in the basement. What did the director think when he hit these tunnels? On this island, been a cultural taboo for a long time. Was it because of these tunnels? What? <laughs> In one of the tunnels, I noticed that the moonlight was filtering through. From, um, writing on the writing the page has been interrupted. So yeah, that's that's what I forgot to get to here. Um, oh man, mother fudger, you bastard! Who do you think you are? Oh, no, no. That was a cheap blow. I was running ahead, and then all of a sudden here comes Chicky McGee. And uh, if you come, I actually had to fight the freaking. Game. <laughs> she uh, did not like the fact that I came back down here, so. She kind of ambushed me. I was just walking along, and all of a sudden, you know, here comes freaking hanging, hanging McGee. This chick, she's funny. She's not. She's not a lot of you do I don't even know why. Sometimes I fight these guys. Well, sometimes, uh, most of the times, it's mandatory that you fight these people. But, like, right now, this is something side. I, I don't have to fight them. I can do them if I really want to. Um, but, you know, almost every ghost that you encounter for the first time, you pretty much have to fight them. There's no there's no getting around that. I still don't know what this blue thing's supposed to be. Oh, you know, I still want to... <laughs> I still want to try that walking through that wall in there. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. Okay, so let's go in here. You know what? Give me, me. I've noticed that lately on um, my videos, my audio, my voice uh, has been rather soft. <laughs> That's because the microphone levels I have on here are really, really freaking. What? what? That's the wrong thing. Oh, this thing. Okay. Anyways, let's head back up to where we, where I last left off, you guys. I figured I'd just record all this, anyways. Seeing as how uh, I've get, I'm getting ambushed by random ass ghosts and stuff, but uh, yeah. So last time we, uh, as you know, we we went through that area. We we uh, were down to the basement, and the elevator didn't work, and it just like took us to that area. And we had to hit a switch to activate the this gate over here, and now we're we've got a key. That'll uh, open up the uh, the incinerating room. I guess that's, or no, maybe it's not the incinerating room, but it's uh, a key to some office or something. I don't know. Uh, back in the archives room. So that's that's where I want to head. I want to head back to the archives, which is on the other side of the hospital. This way. Uh, wait, no. Damn it. Why do I do that? I do. Yeah. Why do I keep doing this? Keep wa every time I walk into that door thinking that's the right door. It's not. It's this door. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping to... Uh, man, it's not this door. Wait, is it this door? No, this is the way I came. What the hell's wrong with me? Uh, I'm hoping to... To, you know, make some prog decent progress in this, uh, this video today. Not that we haven't in the last few ones. Just every time I... Oh wait, this is not... Um, hurt myself right now. Um, <laughs> and I'm failing miserably at making progress because I keep opening the wrong door. Uh, but yeah, we the, these. 
I, I thought that we were, you know, pretty far into the game, but turns out, you know, Chapter 7 is just a drop in the bucket, my friend. We, uh, there, like, there's 12 chapters, and uh, like I've mentioned before, this is the longest chapter as far as I remember. Uh, this is his longest chapter, anyways, and it, it's pretty damn long. I mean, we're not, I think we're almost maybe halfway done with this chapter? Maybe not, even that. I don't... I just know it's freaking... It's pretty damn long. Alright, so we gotta go back into the blinking room. Um, I'll tell you what. When I, uh... That's how I how I got caught up so fast on my, on my, uh... New Game Plus file, I was telling you guys I used some cheats and whatnot. And one of the cheats that I was using was uh, a double walk speed so it allowed me to just blow through everything that I wanted to get done but the problem with that double walk speed code is not only did it give you double walk speed it gave everything double walk speed so <laughs> the ghosts would attack you two times faster it was really obnoxious of course I had invincibility on but <laughs> trying to kill them not to mention I actually uh, I actually had a fight. I actually had a fight that, uh, well, I can take a picture. Boo. Uh, I actually had a fight that, <laughs> that chick and her mannequin friend outside. Uh, when you first time you fight her out in the pool area. Yeah, I had a fight here with double speed. That was obnoxious because, I mean, she was incredibly fast. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. We're out in a new area. I forgot about this place. This place is cool. That's outside. Bamboo. And there's the incinerators. The discarded documents. Maybe not everything was burned. Let's check it out, shall we? There's, looks like there's some item on the floor here. What is it? It's going to be a health item. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, not, it's really insignificant. But, um, the film recorded on the of the Rogetsu Kagura must be still burned. No other record of the dance has ever been recorded or stored before, but this film is strange. At first, I thought the film was damaged. However, I confirmed when I watched it one more time that I could clearly see a woman that I had not seen when I was there on purpose. She seemed to be dancing. I also saw the nurse mixing together somehow, but then I saw the woman much more clearly. Gradually, this woman fades in. When I realized what was occurring, I couldn't believe it myself. I refused to think about it. No more of this footage should be ever ta uh, should be taken, even for verification. Already, I'm reluctant to be near this film. Without waiting for the director's instructions, I'll use this incinerator out back. Like seriously, why are these guys writing these journals about random ass stuff? Garbage bag is rushed inside the rest of the incinerator. Blah blah blah. I can't read. Is there anything in the incinerator? Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. There we go. Burned ha bundle of half-bundled, uh, uh <laughs> bundle of half-burned letters. Tightly bound pile of letters was left at the bottom. These are addressed to me? Kirishima. Oh my, look at this. Kirishima, it seems you've also come to this island for work. I have come to Rogetsu Island to focus on studying its society. The culture of this island is interesting. It really stands out with its originality. The purpose of my latest research is the island's mask. It is known that the mask is related to the island's religion. However, there are still many mysteries. This is the year of the Kagura dance, which occurs every decade. Many masks are made for the Kagura. If all goes well, perhaps I may be able to visit the actual place where the island's masks are made. I think I'm going to stay on this island for a while. Remember my little sister, Iori? She's also with me. I'm looking forward to this mysterious Kagura. It's completely adapted for tourists. Iori wants to meet with you and have a drink together when you come to this island. Say, it's unusual that the natives of this island don't traditionally consume large quantities of alcohol. Kusanagi University Assistant Professor Takashi Aiba. First of all, the Kagura mask is part of the ceremony believed to represent God. Traditionally, the form of the God for the coming year is unified with the current God during the Kagura dance. However, Rogetsu Island's mask is not the face of God. First of all, this island does not believe in a god. Recently, it has been uh, became known as the Rogetsu Kagura Dance. However, it was formerly known as the Ceremony of Passage. The name takes its meaning from an old word which talks of the return of the dead. 
I think that since masks are put on the faces of the dead, the island's masks perhaps imitate the dead? Covering the faces of the dead with masks, dancing, these customs are rarely ever seen. This mask is the form of death on this island, or perhaps in the form of the dead? If you imagine an unchangeable dead face, could this eternal face be the true representation of the island's mask? Did the mask used in the ceremony of passage have some kind of unique role in the ritual? That is the mask worn by the Utsua. The Utsua's mask was made before all other Kagura masks, and the other Kagura masks have different origins. Even among those, I was struck by the prominent presence of the imitation of the lunar eclipse made by Soetsu Yomotsuki, the mask of the lunar eclipse. However, the island fell into ruin when the shrine maiden wearing the mask of the lunar eclipse bloomed. After this, its existence became taboo on the island, and even mentioning it frown is frowned upon. The mask-making technicians of the Soetsu era were lost as a result of the disaster that once occurred. However, other than that, we know nothing of the jet black mask. Now, Soya is trying to revive that advanced mask-making techniques of Soetsu's era. Just maybe a part of the mask of the lunar eclipse. I was told that my sister has a mild case of Luna Sedata. After watching the Rogetsu Kagura, she might get better. Even so, she'll briefly be hospitalized here. Extended hospitalization was discussed, but only as an extreme and unlikely option. I will continue to research the masks. I did come to the island to visit, but a black mask. At the time when the dead return, the dead are all the same formless spirit. I cannot imagine the purpose of this mask. What sort of ritual is it that suggests summoning spirits back from the dead? Its peaceful smile is like a Buddha statue. However, the Buddha statue do not share the primitive sense of emptiness in this mask. I believed before that they were speaking of death with this mask, but now it may be that it isn't death, but something else. When I see it, it drags me into the bottom of a deep nothingness. I feel of a feeling of dread ref, uh, relief floods into me. Dreadful relief floods into me. It's so beautiful. Mask of the lunar eclipse. Even though my eyes were crushed, I still look. I saw it. It's beautiful. So, Takashi Aiba apparently is a friend of ours. And it looks like he came down with some Luna Sedata syndrome. Kusanagi, University Assistant Professor of History. My friend from the university, he came to Rogetsu Island to investigate the masks of Luna Sedata. And it seems. Matt, uh, looks, it looks like he's dead. When you land on this island, you're asked to wear a mask. The masks were important to the people of this island. Masks worn by the shrine maidens are especially valued. Wearing a mask and dancing to the music at the Kagura induces a trance-like state, but beautiful masks are said to lead you to a good fortune in life. The mask makers are treated with great respect like priests. The masks of the island differ from masks of other Kagura dances. They are unique in that they resemble the dead. Uh, yeah, what I was trying to say before I read all that was uh, it's insignificant, but down there also with that uh, file and the, uh, the doll is a... Uh, herbal medicine, so... Okay, there's another picture. Where are you leading me, you hussy? I don't like this. Take me somewhere. I feel like I'm headed to... a shrine or something. It's over here. Something in the tree? There we go. Give me this. Blue crystal, times ten. Alright, I'll take it. Wait, did I get turned around? I did. I think. No, I didn't. No, I. No, no, wait. Nope, I did get turned around. Son of a gun. Saw that save spot and was like, nope, can't fool me. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> so let's see what these say. Ghost list. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Beckoning Nurse 4. Nurse Tsubaki Tono, leading deep into the backyard, keeps advancing through the bamboo trees, dominated by the pale moonlight. Nurse Tsubaki, Tsubaki Tono beckoning Kirishima through the darkness of night. She's leading him further into the backyard. A little further, a little further. That's the same damn thing. Uh, yeah, uh, just, you know, like I said, guys, this is a uh, this is a fan-translated game. <laughs> so there's a lot of lot of spelling errors and stuff. So that's why some of the, the, the freaking... Uh, journals and stuff doesn't make any sense because it's all fan made. So, yeah. Saying also, this never came out in the states, which is a bunch of poop. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> I always have to remind myself that I'm like, what the hell is? Oh yeah, that's right. This is fan translation. <laughs> it's not an official release. 
Uh, yeah, you're beckoning me to my doom, aren't you? I don't like uh, this long hallway, because if a ghost pops up, they're just going to piss me off. Ooh, power up Lin's chain. Oops. Let's check out what we got here. Oh, I always click photo. It extends the amount of time available. Chain. Okay, so yeah, that's that's better than not having nothing, you know. So what do we have over here? What is this? Well, it's obviously a shrine, but of what? What is this? Huh. Nope, nope. Damn controls. Motion controls. Huh? Who? Oh, I missed it. Apparently there's something over there. What's over here? Looks like a grave? Check it out. Come on, item. There we go. Tsubaki Tono's Diary. Yay! Um. Yeah, I, 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 oh no, I remember exactly what's about to come up here. Oh no. Oh, I remember this, I remember this completely. This sucks. <sighs> Okay. I came to this island upon Uncle's recommendation. Although I was scared at first, I'm very grateful now. The people at the hospital and the islanders are very kind and have taught me all kinds of things. This year, a festival is done once every decade called the Rugetsu Kagura will be held. The role that Utsuwa made in is to dance in the ceremony, seemingly lifted up by God in the dance. And I was a little surprised to find out that the islanders have recommended me. Still, the role of the Utsuwa has a rich and beautiful feeling to it, and it was just right for a person around my age, so I decided to accept. To be able to participate in this island's ancient festival is a great honor, and best of all, I think it would be a wonderful opportunity to convey my gratitude. It seems that from now on, I need to undergo some sort of purification training involving masks. This is my role. My duty. And we get blackened film. Yo, why do you gotta be doing that to me, man? You can't be doing that. Stop that. Okay, there is a, um... There is a doll out here. Um, I believe it's over oh, right here somewhere. There it is. Boom, boom, doll. That's number forty-three for us. Okay. So coming up here, I will forewarn you guys. We're in for a very, very long fight. I mean, this fight sucks. Uh, not that it's particularly hard, it's frustrating. Uh, and you can be like, well, dang, what the, how can I be frustrating? It's just three freaking losers. Well, the problem with these three fucking buttheads is that, um, one, we're in this kind of like smallish, smallish corridor. And two, they respawn like a million freaking times. They will just keep coming at you. I mean, they come at you over and over and over. You kill them, and they come back. Like, it's ridiculous. The first time I did this, I thought I did something wrong. Like, I thought maybe I broke the game. But no, you literally have to sit here and fight these guys over and over until they're completely dead. Like, you can't leave. So, I treat this as a somewhat mini-boss. Because look, I just killed that guy, he's back here. It doesn't really freaking matter. So what I like to do in this boss fight is to run back closer to the beginning uh, where you have a little bit more room like right here you can see where the ghosts are coming from up there it's really hard because they like to hide the rocks and stuff and it gets annoying okay here's this guy try to headbutt me chain three and there's the first time that guy's dead each one of them has a certain amount of lives so you have to kill them like four times each and Choshiro is not the strongest guy in the world. You know, you can't fatal frame these guys or anything. The only thing you can do is just get close to them, shoot them in the face, over and over and over and over again. You know, 
make sure you, you can get them all in one shot. Get tons of... You'll make a lot of points off of this, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. You will make a lot of points, but... The point doesn't matter. It takes for freaking ever. close to him. There's that guy deep down. But of course, he's going to spawn right, bit, right back. It's like I said, it's not really a boss. Wow, you saw how fast that guy was? Uh, that guy, those guys are dead twice. And then they're right back up at us. Right back up. I don't understand some of this. Like, I guess it's just you just have it equipped and it extends it. You can't actually use this lens that we just got. Like, you don't use it like all the other abilities. Uh, you just equip it and it works. It increases the amount of time you have to change you guys. Uh, and you know, your, your moon thing, you have to kind of take a break between shots because your, you can see your moon power down there can get quite low by doing this over and over and over. So, you gotta manage several things. This guy you want to look out for specifically because he can headbutt you from super far away. Not fun. Okay, he's down again. Yeah, it was it was pretty funny when I first did this because Andrew was uh, he was watching me play this, he watched me play this the entire thing the first time through, and I, I was like, man, what? Yeah, I, I don't understand. Where are these guys keep coming from? I swear I've killed this guy like 60 times. He was laughing his ass off. He's like, oh, and then and after a while he was like, I don't know, man. This is this is getting old. Why the hell is this? Where are these guys coming from? They really hate me. I mean, it's not like they're multiple villagers, it's just the same three villagers over and over again. I like how they spawned on top of me and did nothing. I see you. Yeah, 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 there's those okay. See, uh, what the, that's the same dude twice. I don't know, they, oh, wait, I always forget though. They all, they all have masks on. Yeah, screw you. He's got a head cage on. Let's just, let's just keep doing what we're doing. We're making some progress. We're making a dent into their lives. We kill them at least three times each. Not that. Got a chain in there. Chain shot. He's like drowning over here. Okay. Nope, he's back on. So, it's four times for this guy. Bam. Maybe three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, at, look, see, my moon, my moon, I have to wait now. I have to wait a little bit because my moon power is extremely low. And if you have no moon power in your lens or whatever, you can't freaking do any damage. Alright, alright, come on, guys. Get on nerves now. I can see this is not really hard, it's just monotonous. Killing the same speed over and over and over and over again. I think that'll do it. Nope, never mind. They're not done yet. Not quite. Really close shot on him. I think maybe the head basket dude's dead? Nope. He's still alive. Okay. Look how slow the attack. It's just, it's almost impossible to die in this guy. Unless you back yourself into the corner up there. Unless you try to fight in that graveyard. I mean, that that could be a little difficult. I can see you up there and you just pop out of anywhere. Really, really freaking annoying. So, nope, did not kill them, it doesn't look like. Okay, did that kill? Are we done? Okay, I think we're done. Nope, this guy is not done yet. Hmm. I have to focus on one guy. I think it's just him now. If it's just him, then we're in the gold. Or it's clear. Whatever. Come on. Fall down. I really don't know what the purpose of making us fight these guys over and over and over again. 
That's my true, my moon power is like way low now. I can barely hurt this guy. Please be the last time. Okay. Please thank you. You know you're good once this lamp lights up. Man, what in the... This guy is persistent. He's like persistent as those uh, ghosts in freaking Silent Hill 4 of the room. Man, freaking Billy Bob ghost and Grandma ghost. Good lord, are they persistent. And they will chase you through the entire freaking game. Well, I mean, all the ghosts in that game chase you in the world. Give it up. You know, I you, you think it's like playing this first time you'd be like, am I supposed to like do something different? Am I supposed to like kill them in a different manner? Is that why they're not coming is that why they keep coming back? Nope. You literally have to kill them as well as they're not just gonna try and hit them. There we go. Now we're done. Jeez Louise, talk about a pain in the butt, man. It's like twenty minutes of fighting those dudes. Alright, so, now that we've got that done, um, we can head back to the hallway, the um, entrance hall, and now we want to actually, I think we want to go to the old access way uh, to take us over to the other side of the hospital, to the, the sick, the patient ward, so that we can play this blackened tape, or whatever. So. But you know how this game goes. We're probably going to get ambushed by like 50 freaking ghosts along the way. I don't foresee us making this without attack getting attacked by something. Like, There's just no way. I mean, I'd be surprised. Like, what if the doctor decided to pop up right here? He's like, did you see it? Hey, no, it didn't. Go away from me. Alright. Huh? Oh, what? 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 Oh. What the hell? Getting out of the tub there? What the hell? Let's take a look at that. That's just interesting. There we go. Beckoning Nurse 6, Nurse Ibaki Tono climbing the steps. She leads Kirishima towards a row. Discarded pieces of his body are immersed inside the sink. They, dis they dismembered him piece by piece to gain understanding of the effects of the experiment. Well, isn't that just lovely for that guy? Well, it looks like you put back together. Yeah? Okay, I guess not. I don't care. That's that. It looks like the same dude that we just killed. Or beat, like, 16 times. This room right here reminds me of the flickering room with the flickering ghost in Fatal Frame 3 that I did not like the fight whatsoever. Andrew will never let me live that down. Sandshrew, he will be like... Because uh, I, I ran away from that ghost the first time I ever... He wanted me to fight it, but I said, Nope, mm -mm, not fighting that ghost. It's too creepy for me. It's like flickers with the light. Nope, I'm done. Alright, so the old access way is upstairs. Let's make our way up there. I wonder what's on this... Well, we know what's on this tape. We know that it's a, a recording of the Kagura dance. But... What exactly is it? What? Someone's calling us down there. Go answer it. I didn't hear that. Why didn't I hear that while I was down there? Well, I got I got I got my volume down quite a bit on my TV so it doesn't pick up in the background. So yeah, I couldn't hear that until I got kind of far away. Don't be a ghost hand. Okay, well, uh, that ghost right there, due to a glitch, is not possible to catch that ghost. Not your fucking DS, no. Yeah, you can't, it's not a glitch, you can't even, uh, it's not even a possible, you know, you, the game doesn't allow you to catch it anyways. But, uh, there, there are certain ghosts that, uh, literally will not, even though you take a photo of them, it will not record it in your log. So you could, uh... You could potentially like just keep taking a photo of the guy over and over and over and over and over again to get tons of points. It's really, really dumb. 
Okay, so let's head this way. Why is that guy walking like like a ninja or something? Like he's trying to sneak his way in. It's like you your father owns this place, isn't it or something? Or maybe it's not. Or maybe uh, I don't know what his connection is to the hospital. But why is he sneaking around? All right. I'm really surprised nothing attacked me in here. <laughs> really surprised. How about in here? Surely something must attack me here, right? I'll get to hall added. Oh, okay. Let's go to our records here. Media? Or, oh, 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 book. Things. Oops. Get to hall. Attached to Hybrid Hospital, a sanatorium built in a luxurious style. Heavily decorated with traditional carvings, it looks like a hotel. It is said that those hospitalized that were get to Hall are relatively rich. Those who have a special connection to the director, I admit it as well. It was built after tearing down the old Rogetsu Hall, which was an inn. A nearby shrine was also torn down to make room. Nearby shrine. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if we'll ever go to said nearby shrine that was torn down. Who knows? Let's see if there, look, there's an item under here. I saw it. No ghost, no ghost, no ghost, no ghost. Ah, no crystals. Okay, I'll take that. Can you even power up the chain thingamajig? Is there any reason to do? I, oh, I guess so. 130, but I'm not going to waste my pff, waste my red crystals on garbage like that. Why would I do that? It's just pointless. Again, a Fatal Frame games are, are not really uh, the best with these freaking I think I guess they could be more useful on hard mode but even then like I've played on hard mode I've beaten this game on the hardest difficulty and it's not like the game is incredibly hard with these uh I mean it's just basically enemies hit you harder but you they they have more HP and whatnot but it's uh I mean the lenses make it easier but still they're not necessary you can with the way fatal frames work in this game you just do so much damage anyways like, every single Fatal Frame has that flaw, where the lenses are really not necessary. I mean, you do tons of damage, they're good on bosses, but that's about it. To be honest with you, I don't particularly care to spend too many points. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really use the lenses at all. I just, I love doing the Fatal Frames, and I, it's like sometimes killing them faster just makes me sad. Because I, I love, I don't know what it is about doing the Fatal Frames. Alright, so let's pay, let's play this film. said they saw someone dancing that was not there. What? Who's back there? Who's hiding? Is there something back here I should know of? Oh, look at an item. Ooh, give it. What is it? Not a ghost hand, is it? Burn picture. Kirishima's investigational record number three. All right, let's play it.
月遊病というのは記憶をなくす病気らしく言っていることはほとんど要領を得ない見たと言った次の瞬間には見ていないというこれじゃ聞き込みにならない入院している少年から3階の間垣という男の部屋で少女を見たという証言を得たこれからその部屋へ向かう動物館309号室発見できずどうもこの絵のことらしい調べればこの建物を全て調べたことになるこの部屋の住人は朔也という女性灰原の姉にあたる重度の月遊病らしく灰原について聞いてもおそらく無駄だろうしかも今は昏睡状態ということだ Well, you know, I want to know where all these tapes are coming from. Did I just, like, in, in the past, just did my character decide to just leave them lying around for him to find later or something? Or is it the ghost just bringing these to him? It's really weird. Alright, so we got a picture. Alright, who is it? Oh, man, come on. Didn't we kill you enough? Jeez Louise, guys. Seriously, and it's the chicken too. You guys are the hunters. Where you're at. Freaking hunters. Think what? Dealt with you guys way too much. Especially you two. The woman, I guess, whatever. But you, I just got done beating like 15 times. Yet you dare show up again. Same with you, buddy. You stupid freaking spear. What are you doing with the spear anyway? How can a ghost hurt you? Ghosts can't hurt you! They can't touch you! They have no physical form, no physical being. It's just a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> Alright, so... We got a kind of a clue. We want to head to the third floor. No, I wanted that item that was over there. Thank you very much. Thanks for trying, door. I'll get you in a second. I want this item. Give. Ah, oh, blue crystals. Alright, I'll take that. Now I'm gonna wait for this lo room to load again. Um, so we have a clue. We need to go to the third floor. To the painter's room, it seems like. Why else would we get a painting? There's the nurse again. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna make this episode a little bit longer because we're actually getting close to the end of this chapter, I think. So this is gonna be a special long-ass video for you guys. <laughs> so third floor, let's go. Alright, you know what though? Hmm. The extra stuff that I'm going to be doing is a side quest. I might have to end it. What do we get from the side quest? Anyways. I don't even know. Hmm? It's alright. We could actually... The chapter is almost nearly done. But there's a section I remember of this place that is, uh, is, is secret. And you get... Um, you don't have to do this. But it gives you a... A notebook and a, a, a film. So, we're probably going to do that, to be honest with you. Because um, to, to end this place, we need to go to the, the artist's room. But that's not what we want to do. So, I guess... I guess we're just going to have to end the episode here today, guys. 
um, next time we will uh, do the side quest and uh, go to the artist's room and see what we can find. So until next time, guys, this is Zinc 500 saying hope you guys have a good one. Take care.